Gun violence taking a toll on Philadelphia's youth. Police are investigating several shootings, including one at a West Philadelphia Recreation Center where a 15-year-old boy was killed and two other 15-year-olds were injured. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabeo is live this morning at police headquarters with the latest. This is a disturbing trend, Jan. Good morning. Janelle, good morning. Mayor Jim Kenney is saying at this rate, Philadelphia is on track to experience its most violent year ever. That is a staggering statement. Now, Philadelphia police have added two more shootings to its growing list of police investigations. Between those two shootings yesterday, seven people were shot, and many victims were very young, just teenagers, the youngest victim to die, a 15-year-old boy. Four shot in broad daylight Thursday afternoon on the 1400 block of North 76th Street in Overbrook. Chopper 3 over that scene as police investigated after violence here left a 24 year old, 30 year old, 19 year old, and 16 year old shot. Two of them have now died. We have a neighborhood that is traumatized by having four people shot in what appears to have been a shootout. Uh, and a shootout in an area that ordinarily is, is very peaceful. Investigators are trying to determine a motive for the attack. Police Commissioner Daniel Outlaw is asking eyewitnesses to step forward. Given the number of people shot, at what time, uh, just again, just it's not only puzzling, uh, but it, it leads us to believe that there are more people out here that know about what happened. Hours later, three more people shot, this time all teenagers and all inside the Christie Rec Center at 55th and Christian Streets in West Philadelphia. Gunfire erupted here just after 7.30. A 15-year-old boy was shot in the back of the neck and killed. Another 15-year-old boy and a 15-year-old girl were also grazed by bullets. They are expected to be okay. As police work to track down the gunmen in both shootings, Mayor Jim Kenney addressed the spike in youth violence and issued a statement that reads in part, at this rate, 2021 is on track to be the most violent year we've experienced in our lifetimes. We cannot stand by as we lose an entire generation to this ongoing scourge of gun violence. We must rise up with one united voice to demand this horrific violence come to an end and work together to achieve that goal. And Mayor Kenny goes on to say that starting next week, his administration will provide regular public briefings to discuss the ongoing work to tackle youth violence and gun violence in the city of Philadelphia. In the meantime, no arrests in either of these shootings. Anyone with information is asked to call police. We are reporting live outside Philadelphia, Philadelphia Police Headquarters. Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Back into you. Thank you, Jan.